what I feel the singularity is, as we look towards the future, uh, we'll get to a point where either intelligent machines or cyborgs will start to dominate. Um, the singularity is the point where humans lose control. We are going to get to the Terminator scenario. That's what I see. Intelligent machines calling the shots. Humans, some subservient slaves is the best. Maybe on farms if we're lucky and so on. Looking at how we are ourselves now, I don't think the future is good. If you are a human after the singularity, forget it. Most people know me for the, the implant experiments that I've carried out. Uh, and this little pot here is the first implant that I had. But it was implanted here, and that identified me to the computer in the building. Hello, Professor Warwick. The last implant that I had was a lot more serious. Now, what we have there is an array of 100 electrodes, and that was implanted in the median nerves of my left arm. I then had wires running up my arm, and they came out onto a little connector pad, so we were able just to plug into these. Uh, I went to New York, and we put my nervous system live onto the internet in real time. We linked up to the robot hand, which was still here in Reading. So as the hand gripped an object, my brain received current pulses. What the surgeons found when they took the implant out was that the body tissue had grown around the implant, pulling it into position. Very quickly, mentally and physically, it's, it's part of you. I think once you link the human brain to a computer network, not only can you improve communication, sensory input, you can think in many more dimensions uh, and have extra memory, of course. That's the obvious one. I see as a person, I'm human, and I'm really limited and restricted in what I do. So if I could come out of the singularity, being mentally and physically upgraded, yeah, I'd go for that. So I, I don't mind changing dramatically from what I am.